Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. I feel like it's actually been a little bit of a while since I sat down and did like a proper big waist wear video over my YouTube and I definitely want to get back into the swing of doing so many more of them. I know I recently did like a workwear one for spring back a few weeks ago and then my festival one as well but I really want to do some like core capsule wardrobe piece like pieces in my wardrobe to share with you guys and I thought I would start the kind of mini series that I'm doing with loafers because it's actually something that I recently purchased for my wardrobe and I've never ever had a pair before and I was kind of before getting them racking my brain of like loads of different ways that I could personally style them myself anyway to like make sure that they would work in my wardrobe and I think at first I was like I don't know if I can actually pull them off I like I've seen so many people in them and they look so so cool and I was like don't know if I could pull them off, but I absolutely love them now that I have them. Like, basically, I got them, tried them on with a few different things, and just kind of wore them out and kind of wore them in a little bit as well, and got a bit more comfortable with, like, how they feel on and what they kind of work with. So... I thought the best way to start the series would be to sit down with you guys and like share different, I think I've done like 10 or 11 ways to wear and just kind of talk through my ideas behind the styling with them and little bits like that. I'll also talk a little bit more about the shoe as well. So I'll leave on the screen here like some close up details of the shoes, but these are the like Prada dupe version from H&M and I tried them on months ago before they launched in the showroom and I was like I need to just find out when these are coming online so I looked every single day up until last week and they have taken a little bit of wearing in I'm not gonna lie like the front bit where the gold bit is on the front of the shoe I find for me personally that they slightly rub but completely different for everyone and your feet and things like that because I have some friends that have ordered them and they haven't rubbed them at all so I feel like maybe it's just me and I sometimes think that about all shoes I think am I the one that has an issue with my feet because every single pair of shoe minus like Vijas and probably my Zara high top trainers are the only two shoes that don't rub me so yeah, I've been wearing them in a bit. They're definitely more comfortable than they were, but I would just say that as like a little pre-warning and they fit true to size. So without further ado, let's just go straight into the outfits because as I feel like there is quite a lot to get through. So first up, styling the black skirt a few ways with the loafers. I feel like this kind of like preppy styled look with loafers is quite in at the moment. It's very on trend. And I basically have this black skirt that I've had in my wardrobe for years. And it's one of those pieces that I style a lot in the autumn winter months with spot tights so styled here with spot tights and a little roll neck top and then layered over with a blazer this outfit could be really really easily styled with like any of your favorite jackets or coats or like trench coats or slouch coats and things like that and I will be layering this look probably in the winter months with like an oversized black or khaki coat over my shoulders just to kind of make the look a bit more wintry as well but I love how the loafers look with spot tights I like how they look with sheer tights as well I think they just work really really well with them I also also want to mention with loafers I feel like you need to buy socks like different colored socks and shapes with them I have like a lot of like ankle socks and just like plain black socks but I felt like as soon as I got them I needed a few different like colored socks in my wardrobe so I personally got mine from Arquette in London and they do I think it's five pairs for 18 pounds but the quality of them is amazing but I think weekday also do some really good deals on theirs and I'm trying to think where else I think M&S do great deals like a pack of six for $12.99 of the white ones but I wanted to get a few little colours and I got some like sparkly ones for like the winter months and like Christmas and that kind of thing so I will leave them linked down below as well but just the first look doing is like an autumn transitional look that can easily be taken into winter. Next up the black skirt again of adding a bit of colour to the look. This rainbow vest is actually a bit of an old one from me. I've had it for like four years from Zara but I have found some similars online so I will leave links to those down below as well and then just layering a little knit vest over shirts with loafers I feel like is a really cool way of styling them too I like this again like I said with the skirt look I feel like it works really really well and while we can kind of still have our legs out because it's still quite humid I'm really not sure what's going on with the weather and I'm not really sure how to dress at the moment so I always kind of do something warm on top or something cold, cool or like 
something that has like my legs out or I have my like arms out or something like that with outfits just in case it gets super humid and the sun comes out or it rains and things like that but I feel like with white shirts you can really just kind of style with any of those like ribbed vests that you have in your wardrobes or any kind of little knit jumpers over the top as well is another way of kind of taking the white shirt and skirt combo with the loafers as like an autumn way of styling. Like I said about knit jumpers this is like another way of styling it with the skirt you could also layer this look with the shirt underneath but I've chosen not to here just to kind of focus the look on the trench coat as like an extra layer and this is definitely one of those pieces of my wardrobe that's like my biggest capsule wardrobe piece that I wear actually pretty much for nine months of the year I think being in the UK like a lot of like January and February as well I wear my trench coat all the time and I've got a few links over on my Instagram to like I think it's about 16 different trench coats so if you are really looking for a high street trench coat to have as that capsule wardrobe piece and they've got lots over there and I will leave a few link down below as well similars because again I've had this on for like five years but I thought this would be a nice way of kind of layering up a little knit jumper with the loafers and the black skirt and it just kind of creating another look with the black skirt kind of like a waist to wear in its like waist to wear in a waist to wear <laughs> because I want to be utilizing the pieces in my wardrobe that I wear often so I wanted to share just a few initial looks with that black skirt for you all. Next up suit styling with loafers I love how suits look with loafers and I've styled this with some like white detailed so like the white socks and the white vest but you could also style maybe a more neutral suit whether you've got like those khakis or browns with perhaps like black socks or something to kind of complement the suit I feel like I've got a brown suit somewhere that I need to get out of storage and I would love to do like taupe socks and a little tote bag crossbody over the front as well with like a roll neck to complement the loafers that was like one of the ideas in my head but I feel like suits work really really well or any kind of cohorts as well if you've got like shorts and blazer cohorts or little skirts and top cohorts as well it looks really great layered over with like trench coats or slouch coats as well when it starts to get colder Next up, a super like classic, easy, comfy look to put on and I've gone for white shirt and black tailored trousers. These are from H&M and I just love the fit and feel of these. They're like really, really slouchy, really kind of tailored and like got that really nice straight leg feel and fit but then really nice and high rise. You've still got that high rise fit as well with the belt loops which I really love because I end up styling these a lot for date nights with like black accessories and like a chunky gold belt. But dressing down here for, I guess this could be like a workwear inspo perhaps depending on like where you work and what you've got to wear to work and things like that these shoes are like a really great workwear low like platform shoe that I feel like for me personally I always like having a little bit of extra height with my shoes I like always go for like platform trainers and I feel like these have that little bit of height in a really really nice way and they're just super comfortable when you do eventually wear them in so I feel like these are a great workwear shoe if you do love them and I want to say also in this video is that I feel like they're a very love it or hate it kind of thing so some of you guys might not like it and I'm sure if you're this far into the video then perhaps you do like them hopefully <laughs> um but yeah they're definitely a love it or hate it kind of thing and this one was just one of those looks for more kind of of casual kind of going around but maybe if I had any meetings and things like that and if you kind of worked in the office and you do need to wear those kind of tailored pieces then this is probably something I'd go for. Next up, styling an everyday way of wearing them with my blue jeans and a little fake leather jacket and a hoodie underneath just for like that extra warmth and layer. I find a lot when I'm like going out or if I'm doing like everyday wear in the autumn winter months, I always layer my fake leather jacket with a hoodie just without a doubt it is the best way to style it and Definitely having like an unzipped one I think is a nice way to be able to show like if you've got a cute top and jean combo on underneath. I've just started here with a little black crop top but I just would love to wear this out a little bit more as soon as it gets colder because I love layering like this for the winter months. And styling with the blue jeans, they are kind of that capsule piece in my wardrobe that I always want to like gravitate towards because they're super, super comfortable. So I wanted to do like a waist wear in them because I feel like everyone's got blue jeans and hopefully this is something that can be really easily created for you guys. Next Next up, styling with my fake leather shorts. I love wearing these in the autumn months because I feel like sometimes you still get those days that you can still have your legs out. You can then style them with tights if you want to. And I just did like a little cashmere knit yellow jumper to kind of go in with those like gold accessories. I am such a gold fan, which you guys can probably tell from my videos. I literally layer it up, but I love styling those like black accessories and gold accessories together. And something that I've spoken about in previous videos is I really, really like doing the two color combo and 
styling like the black accessories with maybe a little bit of a neutral colour or a pop of colour so this could easily be one of those outfits that if you have any pops of colour for the autumn winter months in your wardrobe that you really want to style with these pieces then you could definitely just add that like bright pop of green or orange or pink or whatever kind of pieces you love and have in your wardrobes. Next up going for a very neutral look and styling a roll neck dress with my blazer. This is just like a way of kind of really layering up but having quite a tailored look which I really love. I love these kind of belt bags. I have a few of them. This one is from Pauline Paris but ASOS also do a really really amazing one which is actually currently packed in my festival bag which is still at Kirsty's that I need to go and get at some point seeing as I didn't go to Reading but that's another story. <laughs> so that's elsewhere but styling with this one here I really really love the shape and the fit of it and I feel like it can really make blazers have that little bit more something something for the autumn winter months and just allows you to really accessorize i've gone for a very neutral outfit here just because i feel like i feel more comfortable in pieces like this and i have a lot of black accessories and black pieces in my wardrobe that i really do love wearing in the autumn winter months and i just feel like the gold on the shoes in this outfit really really stands out as well which i love next up another kind of neutral look but styling with the white socks here again just to kind of make the shoes stand out a little bit more and styling with a black long sleeved ribbed dress I again literally feel like this is a capsule wardrobe piece for me as well to be honest because with like my spot tights or with like a belt for nights out and if like anyone's like what do you wear to a rooftop bar in the colder months that isn't too dressy I would 100% be wearing this dress with a trench coat and with chunky boots or with a fake leather jacket and it's always my go-to because I feel so like comfortable in it and it's really stretchy you can kind of move around in it but I feel like a little black dress can go a long way with lots of different outfits so styling here with my trench coat from ASOS this is just a really great like water repellent trench coat which has just been so handy <laughs> the last few weeks when it's been raining and styling with the white socks just to kind of allow the shoes to stand out a little bit more too. Then next up, styling with some like autumnal browns and going through this really lovely cream mango dress, which I really hope is still in stock. Like it's honestly so gorgeous. I absolutely adore it. And I've just styled here with my brown fedora hat and a brown fake leather jacket, which is from Zara a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna try and find some similar brown blazers down below, but love kind of styling a free colored look by taking those pieces that I really, really love and styling the pieces together. So kind of picking up on the cream and styling with browns to kind of make it stand out a bit more and then if I felt like I needed it I probably would have gone for a black bag to kind of tie in with the shoes as well and kind of elevate the look with the accessories so I just styled this one here I guess it's a little bit more dressy for everyday wear but just one of those ways to kind of take autumnal browns and oranges into a look as well and then lastly currently one of my favorite ways to style them doing like a full fake leather outfit which if you've seen my capsule wardrobe transitional video that I did I spoke about how much I live in fake leather trousers they are honestly my go-to for the autumn winter months because not only does the rain just like slide off them they're just so warm on and I pretty much live in them on the cold days because I'm not really like a heavy coat kind of person until it's really cold like January time and I like to have something that's quite lightweight to chuck on so I usually wear them as like my warmth <laughs> and then like style with like logo tees and blazers and little knits and things like that and here I've just styled with one of my nasty girl fake leather jackets which again I've had for a while but they have definitely re-bought it out because I swear every year they do like a new version of it like River Island do with the trousers and they've just lasted me such a long time like the quality of them hasn't frayed it hasn't washed badly they always just come out in perfect condition so what I've done here is I kind of like I said earlier about taking the socks and like a piece of the outfit to kind of match I've gone for the pink socks from Arquette and the pink little jumper that I have from American Vintage just to kind of give a bit more colour to a neutral outfit and yeah I'm obsessed with it because I love a bit of pink if you guys know me and I thought this was quite a cute way of styling it that I feel really really comfortable in for everyday wear and yeah you'll be seeing me in this a lot for sure when it starts to get colder so yeah that is it for the outfits let me know what you guys think and when I start styling them lots of more ways they'll be over on my Instagram as well I'm gonna basically just try and do another video where I style them a few different ways of different pieces but I'm sure in the next few weeks they'll be worn lots in lots of my styling videos too but 
yeah, if you have any questions about them, please let me know and I will leave links down below to everything and like size wise and things like that. And for reference, just in case I am five foot three, in case you're wondering in the video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for being here. I will see you all in the next video. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.